Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to take a look at configuring international delivery with WooCommerce. You can see I've got that area open on my screen now, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do, assuming you do wish to enable international delivery, is to check the box to enable it. After that you can change the method title if you'd like. Uh, international delivery is the standard though, uh, there's probably no real need to change it of course. Then after that we need to specify an availability. At the moment, it is set to select countries. So what you would do is choose from the drop down here. Alternatively, you can exclude selected countries as well. And maybe you'd like to do that and exclude Uganda. Thereafter, you need to choose whether the international shipping is taxable. This is most likely going to depend on the country you're sending the goods from. Then you need to decide how the cost is going to be added. The default is per order, so the shipping will be charged for the entire order as a whole. Alternatively, you can set it to be per item or per class. We've created another video on shipping classes, so if you need to learn about that, I suggest going and reading up or viewing that video. We'll just leave ours as per order for now. Next, what you need to do is set the cost for international shipping. This value does need to exclude tax. Uh, we'll just call it $15 for now. Next, what you need to think about is the handling fee for shipping. This is another amount that does also exclude tax. Uh, now, there are two options you can put in here. You can put in a dollar value, so maybe it's $5, but you can also put in a percentage, so you can put it as 5% uh, or something, so it sort of scales with the order, of course. And the final option is to set a minimum handling fee. What this means is that if the total handling comes to, say, $10, and the minimum handling fee is set to $11, then when the person or the customer is going through the checkout, that handling fee will automatically be increased to the $11 value. When you're done making changes here, hit save, and we're done. So that's all you need to do when setting up international delivery. There are just a few considerations. Uh, probably most important is finding out whether it is taxable depending on your country or state and so on. Otherwise, all pretty straightforward. If you have any questions about what we've done in this video, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more.